I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss uniform random distribution with an example. An unprincipled used car dealership sells a car to the buyers even though the dealer knows that the car will have a major breakdown within next six months. The dealer provides a warranty for 45 days on all cars sold. Calculate and interpret the mean and standard deviation of length of time until breakdown and calculate the probability that breakdown occurs while car is still in warranty. Now in such cases like we have here, it says that the car can break down any time within six months. That's what it says, right? Now any time during this duration is equally probable for the car to break down and therefore this is a case of uniform random distribution. So let me sketch and then explain the situation. So let us say that this is the time duration in months and uh, that is the probability density for car to break down. Since we know that it will break down any time between 0 to 6 months, let's call these months as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, so it could break down any time during first 6 months. So it has a uniform probability to break down any month, right? So, so that is the kind of uniform probability. So along this, we have our probability density function, which we may write with f of x. And that is the, the value of random variable x, which is breakdown months. So breakdown after how many months, right? So uh, number of months. Now in this particular case, we know that the area under the curve, which we have shown here, should be always equals to 1, correct? So since all possible probabilities, when you sum up, this sum is always 1. So area under the curve is 1. So we have area equals to 1. Since our length here is 6 minus 0, which is 6, what should be this value of f of x? Since the length is 6, uh, f of x should be equals 2. So since when you multiply these two, you should get area of 1. So if f of x is 1 over 6, right? So this should be 1 over 6 to give us this area of 1. So this probability density is uniform for these six months. That is the basic concept. Is it okay? Now let's look into it. Calculate and interpret the mean and standard deviation for such a uniform distribution. Now mean will be right at the center, the average value. Is it okay? So the mean value, which is mu, will be equals to 0 plus 6 divided by 2 and that is equals to 6 divided by 2 or 3. So the mean for this particular case will be at 1, 2, 3. So that's the mean average value. So that is that is the mean value. Okay. Now standard deviation of the length in time until it breaks down. The formula for standard deviation is is this difference, the duration when it could break down, divided by square root of 12, basically. So it is 6 minus 0 divided by square root of 12. So this is the standard formula which I'm using. Um, so let's calculate this value. So it says 6 divided by square root of 12, which is equal to in decimals 1.732 so 
1.73 is in months so that so three months is the average or the mean for breakdown and standard deviation is 1.732 months so 1.732 if i take away from 3 let's do 3 minus 1.732 it is uh, 1.268 so one standard deviation away will be between 1 to 2 around this place this is uh, from the mean one standard deviation away and two standard deviation away will be let me take out minus 1.732 will give us in decimals minus 40.56 around minus 0.46 so if you see if i take away so we are doing the interpretation now for this so if i take away from mean two standard deviations i get a value which is 3 minus 2 times 1.73 let's say which is equals to minus 0 0.46 right and if i add to it two standard deviations we get three plus two times 1.73 we'll get 6.46 which is kind of here now from shebesh theorem you know that the probability of occurrence will be 75 percent in the interval will be minimum 75 percent it could be 100 percent also but minimum 75 percent within the interval of plus minus two standard deviations away from the mean right so so you can say as an interpretation that 75% of the time the car sold will break down between this interval right that is uh, this one is mu I mean 2 mu mu plus 2 sigma right okay this is uh, mu mu minus 2 sigma within that interval right? that is kind of interpretation so definitely this is out outside 100% is within the interval given to us so it is a very conservative um, approximation I should say right so let me write down uh, so this is just an approximation which is 75% breakdown in minus 0 0.46 I know minus doesn't mean anything here uh, to 6.46 months but that's the interpretation based on our theorem right so based on our theorem that's the interval in uh, interpretation and this theorem is for any distribution actually so we are applying it to this particular condition so we may not really get a realistic value so not realistic but but theoretical okay so that's a theoretical explanation okay now let's get back to the equation here which says calculate the probability that the breakdown occurs while the car is still in warranty so let's do part b which is to calculate the probability that the breakdown occurs while the car is still in warranty so warranty is for 45 days 45 days is one and a half month so that means uh, one and a half month is like well, this is one month this is two months so around this probability as you know in this particular graph when we have probability density function we have probability density function probability is the area under the curve so 
So the area will be, we have height of this curve is 1 over 6, right? So the probability will be 1.5 times 1 over 6. So the duration into the value of the probability density function, right? So that is the probability. You could write 6 minus, I mean, uh, 45. Or you could also write the ratio of this duration over the total duration. That is also another way of interpreting, right? So if you do not calculate the value of property density, you could say it's the ratio of duration, right? So you could also interpret this as uh, 1.5 over the total duration, right? So the ratio of the two. That is also an interpretation to find the probability for uniform distribution. Let's calculate this value. 1.5 divided by 6 is equals to in decimal 0.25. So there are 25% chances. So that means uh, there are 25% chances of breakdown during warranty period. in such cases, right? So I hope you appreciate that in case of uniform distribution, normally you will have a particular duration, however small it may be, in which the probability is constant. So in such cases, we say that if you take up any value, it is random, right? So it is, so this is also a way of uh, randomizing the Variable, So it is sometimes called the randomness distribution. So that is another name given to this. So this distribution is also called randomness distribution. Since in this particular case, every random number has equal probability, right? So let me write down this. So in this space, every random value has equal probability right so that is the kind of understanding which we get from such examples I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps thank you and all the best